Hello, my wonderful Capricorns. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. So we have one card for you guys. Um, it is the family card. Okay, so it reads generations, children, ancestors, origin. Okay. So you could be inquiring about someone that you have children with, or maybe you're inquiring about someone where you feel like you want to build with this person, or, or you see where the relationship could go. So again, you don't have to have a family or children with this individual, although maybe that is what you were hoping for or something that you desire. Okay, now I feel like there's some sort of pattern, okay, going on. I don't know why I'm getting the word pattern as I'm looking at the word ancestors, but it's like there could be something that is that has been passed on or there's something that has or that is feeling very repetitive here. But I will definitely clarify that energy, see if it comes up again. Um, so let's see here. It's like the way that I'm receiving the download Capricorn is like someone feels like the way that they are today is because of either like their father or their mother or something that has been passed on in their bloodline. That's kind of how I'm receiving the download. Very specific, may resonate for some of you. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck here. So some of you could be involved with the Virgo, and we also have the Three of Wands. I definitely feel like this is someone who is spending a lot of time thinking about you, okay? They do, they could have reached some sort of milestone, or this could be pertaining to the bond. They may feel like you guys were able to overcome a lot of obstacles together, um, or, you know, there were a lot of, you know, trial, or there was a lot of trial and error in this bond here. With the Three of Wands, it almost seems to me that someone is either watching you from a distance or they are thinking of you, but there may be some sort of distance here with the Three of Wands or some sort of, um, this card could also speak about planning, okay? So I'm going to start off by seeing how they're currently viewing you. Okay. Nine of Cups. This person views you or is currently viewing you as wish fulfillment. They're viewing you as someone who makes them extremely happy. They're viewing you as someone where they may even feel like you are the definition of their ideal partner or you, something about you seems very perfect to them. Okay, so they feel like you, you guys were meant to be here. But Nine of Cups mainly speaks about wish fulfillment, someone feeling like you make them extremely happy. Um, and I feel they are very emotionally fulfilled when they are around you. Not only do they feel a sense of security, I think that this, uh, you know, goes back to some sort of comfort that they feel with you, Capricorn. But they're viewing you as someone who makes them extremely happy. Um, they could be wishing for so something to happen or they could be praying for a blessing in this connection as well. Whether it's, um, you know, moving things to the next level, whether it's, you know, more consistency between the both of you. It seems like this person is wishing uh, for something in this bond here. Okay, so we have the five of wands in the challenge position and we also have the ace of wands. This person is very determined to overcome some sort of obstacle that you guys are facing. So with the five of wands here, Capricorn, this could let me know that there are more than two energies involved here. Okay, or the five of wands could just be some sort of, uh, you know, disagreement, maybe even conflict. But you know, more specifically, the Five of Wands speaks about petty conflict or something that could have been avoided. And because we have the Ace of Wands here, I think that this is someone who wants to overcome some sort of obstacle. They're thinking about what is not working between the both of you, and there may be even an energy of this person or, or even... I guess a better way for me to explain it is someone who's going through a period of release, releasing what no longer serves them, possibly even cutting ties. 
with um, certain individuals that are in the way of the connection here. Now, you guys could have opposing opinions at this time, or maybe you guys have two very different personalities, but you guys do come together in a very beautiful way. But I will say there's also something that feels a bit conflicting. So I wonder if you're not on the same page with this person right now, or there's something in the way of the connection and your person is really feeling guided to kind of, um, you know, uh, remove that block, if you will. And the Five of Wands could also speak about learning. So this person could be in the early stages of maybe a learning how to do something differently or they're changing their approach, you know, that sort of thing. But as much as the Five of Wands coming out in the challenge position does speak of some sort of obstacles with the Ace of Wands followed by it, I feel like this is someone who's like, you know, very determined to overcome this obstacle. They want, you know, a new beginning with you. For some of you, it could be new love with the Ace of Wands, although there, this person may feel like there's something in the way. Right, the Five of Wands, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you guys had a disagreement or a falling out. It could very much just be that they feel they are distracted at this time or there are external influences or opinions that are in the way and they're really trying to put an end to what is in the way of this connection. Because not only do they feel very passionate towards you, they're very excited to um, explore the potential with you is what I see. The way that you're viewing them, King of Cups, you view them as someone who you have a lot of love for. Could be a water sign for sure. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I will say Capricorn, like you know that this person has emotions for you and you feel like, you know, they, um, they feel very deeply for you. Although you also view them as someone who keeps their emotions intact. Because with the King of Cups here, guys, like it's almost an energy of someone who makes it clear that they do have emotions for you but they are also it could be read as like emotionally balanced or someone who also likes to kind of keep their emotions intact like they're not overly sensitive or they do make it clear they have emotions for you but maybe um, they don't there's a lack of reassurance or you know they're not open about it all the time you know that sort of thing but you are viewing them as someone you have a lot of love for you are viewing them as someone who has expressed that they have emotions for you so I don't really see much negativity there. I just feel like this is someone who tries to not really bottle up their emotions because I feel like they do let you know how they feel, but it's also like sometimes you may find that this person is very closed off and that could be because they are overwhelmed by the emotions that they feel in that uh, King of Cups energy. So in your feelings, we have the Four of Swords, okay, and we have the High Priestess. Are you not speaking to this person right now, Capricorn? Four of Swords and the High Priestess could definitely be, um, well, with the Four of Swords, you could be healing. You could just be spending time, uh, you know, on your own. But High Priestess could be symbolic for some sort of silent treatment, okay? Um, it could let me know that there is some sort of telepathic communication going on between the both of you, but it does let me know that there's some sort of silence. So even if you are speaking to this person now, maybe you guys were on a break or um, when you do, or even if you are speaking to this person now, maybe it's very on and off. There's some sort of silence or some sort of emotional gap here that you're feeling. Okay. Um, you may even be like this week, you may be using your intuition to kind of guide you through this bond. You may be trying to figure out some sort of answers on your own. And I also see that you are resting or spending a lot of time on your own, maybe even trying to make a very critical decision, but you feel like you have to make that decision on your own without being affected by the opinion of others. Now, we do have the Five of Wands there uh, in the challenge position. So with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess, some of you, you could be taking a break because you're feeling very overwhelmed. Uh, Five of Wands could be a very conflicting energy, like I mentioned earlier. It could also be when things are going on around you and they are affecting you, but it feels like it's out of your control or you feel powerless about it. So something here may kind of make you feel like, well, it's out of my hands. I don't know what to do about it. So I think I'm just going to, you know, withdraw my energy from the situation. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles in your feelings with the Ace of Cups. Wow, wow, wow. For some of you, this may just be new love, but it could be that you're not really, you know, you feel like there are mixed signals or you feel like, you know, you're in the early stages of getting to know someone um, and you're, you're, you're taking your time here. Because with the Four of Swords as well as the High Priestess, I feel like there's a lot that you're keeping to yourself, but it's coming, or I should say it's stemming from a place of you not wanting to rush into anything. 
And with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, this is you having a very deep desire for a brand new beginning with this person. You may even want to tell them how you feel. And there's a lot of excitement here, but it's almost like you're making sure that what you're investing in is worth investing in. Does that make sense with that Ace of Pentacles? Um, and with the Ace of Cups, you know, two aces, guys, it's very exciting. That's very um, fulfilling. And I feel like you're looking forward to it, but there's also an energy of you not really rushing the process. For some of you, just being transparent Capricorn right you do have emotions for this person and maybe you've made it clear but to an extent there is something that you're still holding back you haven't revealed every single thing that you're feeling or you haven't really expressed the uh, depths of your emotions to this individual as of yet okay uh, the five of wands is being clarified by the judgment card and the ace of wands the star card wow if there are any obstacles between you and this individual right now, I see these obstacles or this block being lifted. You know, judgment usually comes up in a spread when there's some sort of divine intervention. So whatever it is that you're feeling powerless about, or, um, you know, uh, maybe you feel like it's out of your control, I see it kind of um, like pretty much like a block being removed. I also feel like with the star card, this is going to be, this is a very special connection. Your person views you as someone where they connect with you on a very deep level, possibly even a spiritual level. It's kind of that energy of what's understood doesn't need to be explained. This is someone who feels like they can sit in your company and not say a word and it wouldn't be awkward. You know, nothing would be wrong. It would kind of just flow. <clears throat> so going back to what I was saying here, when uh, we did pull the nine of cups for how they're viewing you, there's some sort of security. There's some sort of um, comfort that they really feel with you. And I think that with the judgment card as well as the star card, this is a connection that's going to be very healing Capricorn. Maybe you're already, uh, you know, feeling this way, but I, you know, I am acknowledging the five of wands, but I will say, I don't see it as an obstacle that's going to last whatever it is, right? Whether it's the opinion of others, maybe it's someone, uh, you know, maybe it's uh, some other interference here. I see it kind of being lifted so that you guys can come together. And I feel like this would cause also <clears throat> a major shift in the dynamic between the both of you. And very specific message, but for some of you, there's a lack of consistency because of a blockage. And once this blockage is lit, um, kind of removed here, there's going to be a lot more consistency between the both of you. You guys have the family card, which was your first card. There's a lot of potential here in this bond. And that's why you intuitively feel it, right? With the Ace of, Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, but more importantly, the High Priestess. Your intuition is, you know, being heightened this week. And, you know, you, whether it's vivid dreams, whether it's a gut feeling about something, I feel like you need to follow your intuition here because you're correct or what you're... Um, what you think to be true is the truth. Like if you're like, okay, you know, something feels a little bit off this week, but I feel like it's going to be solved. I definitely feel that way as well with the judgment card. <clears throat> so in their feelings, we have the lovers. Someone, some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, but this is someone who feels very, very connected to you and they cannot deny it. You know, um, this person also feels like the connection that you guys share is like a once in a lifetime connection. What's coming through very strongly is this is an individual who's very determined. They're very determined to not only fight for this connection, but they're very determined to remove any blocks. Like I said, the five of wands is present, correct, but it is followed by the ace of wands, which is someone who's like, nope, I want a new beginning or no, this is what I want. So even if there are any distractions, I'm going to, you know, um, find a solution. I'm going to find a way to still make this work. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who is rushing in to pursue you. Some of you could already be speaking to this person, but there's an energy of you kind of taking a step back or um, feeling, you know, like you're trying to, yeah, feel the situation through, but you're following your intuition. And again, whatever obstacle it is, guys, it could vary. It is a general read. <clears throat> I don't see that it will last long. And with the uh, lovers and the Knight of Swords, this is someone who feels an urgency to pursue you. Like they are having a hard time holding back from just, um, you know, wanting progress here. I think that this person actually wants um, things to move fairly quickly between the both of you. And I think that they will make it very known with that Knight of Swords energy, a lot of communication. Look at this. As I say, a lot of communication, your next card, Eight of Wands. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. They, they love talking to you, Capricorn. Um, and they view you as someone who is very balanced, someone who is very stable. In their feelings, I think that something that um, they really enjoy is, yes, they view you as wish fulfillment. They view you as someone they're very attracted to with the lover's card. But I think that there's something about the conversations that you guys have or 
uh, your ability to stimu stimulate their mind is uh, something that they really admire. And I see them, you know, communicating with you. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands could be speedy communication. It could be very passionate communication. So this could be through uh, text messages. This could be through, uh, you know, phone call here. But this is someone who really admires you and they're very determined to, um, you know, connect with you and build with you with that lover's card. Um, despite, you know, whatever is going on. They're not letting anything get in the way here. I also feel, guys, that this person feels there's some sort of a choice to make. So even when they're connecting with you, they're ready to make the choice of either being in a commitment, maybe just wanting to, uh, you know, get to know you better. This seems fairly new, guys, but it also seems like your person is... Um, they're kind of like, even if it's new, they're already developing a lot of emotions and they really, really enjoy speaking to you. I do see that here. So we have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's very attracted to you. I will say that Capricorn. And with the Six of Pentacles, I think that they want equal give and take. This is someone who cares a lot about reciprocity. Um, and I feel like they are going to prove that they care for you through their actions. Okay. This is also someone that admires that you kind of stand by what you say. They feel like you're very re reliable. So maybe think back to something that you told this person you would do. They feel like you're able to follow through on it. They don't really have to worry about, um, you know, questioning the things that you say that you'll do. And then we also have the Fool card and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. Wow. This is this is a very positive spread here, guys. For some of you with the Five of Wands, this person, um, you know, the obstacles may be, it doesn't have to be an ex-lover. It could just be, you know, the opinion of others. But um, there is something that feels a little all over the place. But like I said, your person is very determined to be in a relationship with you. I mean, the fool card, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles and their feelings. I think that this is someone who genuinely feels like you are who they want to be with. You are who they want to build with. And I'm being called to tell you guys, like there may be something this week that comes up that you feel a little bit powerless about it. And you're kind of like, oh, this is kind of out of my hands, or this is like a problem that has to do with them, or this is something they have to deal with. And I feel like they will be, and, um, you know, uh, find a solution. And I also feel like this person's a really good communicator. We have the Knight of Swords as well as the Eight of Wands. Um, and with the Fool card, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> And the uh, Six of Pentacles here, I definitely feel like it's someone who's moving towards you. You know, they're very excited. I see them actually taking that leap of faith towards you. And it's because they want to build something more. So what you're intuitively feeling, you know, a new beginning with this individual, you're absolutely correct because their feelings are... Uh, similar to yours in a sense, but I feel like they're doing the pursuing, if that makes sense here. Okay, so wonderful reading here, Capricorn. I really do hope you were able to find a message that uh, resonated with you here today. And thank you so much for your time.